So Mr. Zarid has a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. It's an inherited disease that involves the degeneration of a cell type in the retina called photoreceptors. These photoreceptors are sort of like the pixels in our eyes. Uh, over the course of time, we lose our, our light-sensitive cells that respond to low light, and so we can become night blind when we have this condition early on. And in a subset of patients, uh, they go on to losing all of their sight, including their central vision. So Mr. Zaret has this condition, and that's exactly what this device was designed to help. The retina in these patients is relatively healthy, uh, except for the photoreceptors. And so what we're trying to do is replace the function of these lost photoreceptors with the retinal prosthesis. There are approximately 1.2 million cells in the retina called the ganglion cells, and they form the optic nerve. Uh, we learned uh, several decades ago that those cells remain relatively viable and healthy. And so the retinal prosthesis communicates with those nerves uh, in, in order to send sight to the brain. It's a very delicate device, and it's an array of electrodes that actually have to lay on a curved surface in the back of the eye where the retina is. So uh, after many years of development and practice, um, I've developed a lot of skill in this area. Uh, and basically, we place an electronics package around the eye, fixate that electronics package, and then we enter through the eye wall, through the white part of the eye, uh, with an electrode. That's uh, six by 10 electrodes. So patients have 60 points of stimulation. And that electrode lays upon the retina through a cable that we carefully secure, and then we put a patch graft over the uh, incision that allows this device to enter the eye. So there's actually a portion of the device that's outside of the eye and a portion of the device that's inside of the eye on the retinal surface. So Mr. Zerad has a, a pair of glasses that have a camera directly in the center of the bridge of the nose. And that camera uh, re requires a, a small belt pack computer. So the images from the camera go down uh, a cable that's worn on his belt or across his, uh, his shoulder strap. And this computer analyzes the images and then sends them to a transmitter, processed, and the transmitter beams visual information into the implant, which is around the eye, and the implant interprets that and sends series of impulses to the retina, which are then interpreted as vision by the brain.